predictability. The milkman, the paper boy, evening TV. Now, from Calvary Christian School, it's the WCCS News. Good morning, Calvary, and welcome to your WCCS News. I'm Rachel. This is James. There will be a student council meeting today during lunch. School pictures are Friday, September 8th, and Josh is coming to meet with sophomores about classrooms and seniors about grad stuff on Monday morning, September 11th. The NHS and NJHS induction ceremony will be Wednesday, September 13th at 2.15 in the afternoon. All officers and new members can wear jeans and a nice shirt or sweater. Any members who want service hours can bring in fruit, veggies, baked goods, or two liters. There will be a high school play interest meeting on Friday at lunch. All students interested in being part of the play this upcoming spring, please meet in room 103. The All Pros Dad Breakfast is at 7 a.m. Friday, September 8th. Grades 4 through 8, bring your fathers and join us for a great time of fellowship. All juniors will be taking the ASVAB test on Monday, September 8th. Test starts promptly at 8 a.m. Any middle and high school students and or teachers that took pictures during retreat, please email them to Mrs. Coenger at bethany.coenger at ccsky.org. NJHS will be having a meeting during lunch today in Mrs. Hyde's room. This is for all new and returning members. The CCF's golf outing is on Monday, September 25th at DeVue Park Golf Course at 8 a.m. Just a reminder that students are excused from school if they choose to participate with a parent. And that's all for your news. What's up, CCS? I'm Hannah Bevan, and today I'm with Cora Pack, who is going to be sharing some information about a new service project. So, Cora, tell us, what is this service project that we will be doing? So, we will be bringing in items yeah. to give to Matthew 25 Ministries, who's going to take to Texas and other areas that were affected by Hurricane Harvey. That's really awesome. And how much of the school is going to be involved in bringing stuff in? It will be for middle and high school. And what items do we need to bring in, and who brings them in? So 7th grade will be bringing in baby wipes. 8th grade has diapers of all sizes. Ninth grade has toiletries, including body soap, deodorant, or shampoo. 10th grade has t-shirts of all sizes. 11th grade has socks of all sizes. And 12th grade has, has towels, and these need to be either new or gently used items. And where do we put the items that we bring in? Take them to your homeroom. All right, and when are we going to start bringing stuff in for the Hurricane Harvey? This will start this Monday, and it will end on service day. Anything else? Um, in addition to these items, there will be other items that Mrs. Cunninger will send in an email that are optional to bring in. All right, thank you, Cora, for your time and sharing with us about this project. Thank you. I remember back in kindergarten, my teacher asked me what my favorite number was. And I said three, and everyone looked at me weird, and I was like, how is that so odd to you? Hi, CCS. I'm Maddie Faulkner, and I'm here with Mrs. Craven for um, forensics information. What exactly is forensics? Forensics is a competitive speech and drama team where students uh, use uh, their verbal communication skills uh, to compete against other students, and it even goes up to the state level. There's a state championship at the end of the season. And what grades are involved with forensics? Um, freshmen through senior year, as of right now, will make up our high school team. And are there any interest meetings coming up soon? Yes, there is. Um, there are a couple meetings that are going to be um, scheduled for next week. Um, the first one is Tuesday, September 12th, and that will be in my room, room 226, right after school until 4 o'clock. And anyone interested in joining the forensics team um, or want to learn more about it is welcome to attend that meeting as well as my current team members who tried out in the spring 
and uh, make up the team currently. And then we're going to have another meeting um, and auditions for those interested on Thursday, September 14th, again in my room, right after school until 4 o'clock. But I would also like my current team members to attend that meeting. And is there anything else we need to know that would be important about forensics? No, other than um, the communication skills are super important um, to make you a better student and to make you more marketable um, when it comes to looking for a job beyond school. So it's super important to develop those skills and forensics gives you a fun, uh, very interesting way to do that. So I'm hoping that we'll have a lot of people show up um, that maybe weren't able to try out in the spring, um, that you've given it a little bit more thought and you're going to give it a, a chance. So I hope to see a lot of people out um, on the 12th. There you have it. That's Mrs. Craven with Forensics. Thank you for your time, CCS. Good morning, CCS. I'm Hannah Bevan. I'm Hannah Pack. And we're Hannah Squared. Now, as you know, Word of the Day has been a tradition, and our last veterans, Amanda and Savannah, have left us. So we have been past the Word of the Day. And today your word is gobbit. And gobbit means a lump of either flesh or meat. Here's some meat. Eat it. For example, Hannah's face now smells of gobbit. So there you go.